Welcome viewers. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you speedometer, the chart that we use for showing and visualizing project status, like this one. You see there is this needle and here we can see the progress of the project and whenever there is a change, so this needle goes along and you can add such type of labels also for different levels. Uh, if there is a change, for example, here we have the data. So if our progress is 45%, so you will see now the needle. See, it's going up 55. So you can see now it's moving with the change in the percentage. So how you can make such type of beautiful charts to visualize your information and to use in the dashboard and infographics. Let's start how we can create such type of gauge meter or speedometer. So let's start. So first you need this information, for example, how much is completed or whichever categories you, know, you want. So you can add here your categories. Now this blank one. Uh, Whenever you are creating speedometer, so if you see here, we have used the donut chart, and that is basically if we go with only 100%, so that would be a circle. So, for this 50%, just to keep it like this, we have to make the total with 150%, like this. For example, if your project has completed 33%. So the remaining would be obviously 100% minus the completed. So both of these max to 100%. Now you will need 50% more just to make a complete circle and then remove that 50% so that it looks like this. This one is just to cover the uh, chart area. So here we have put for example this is our actual so you just need to change the actual that's remaining will automatically change and this blank will remain the same as 50%. Then you will need for the meter this information the same one. Don't think about this for the time being. Let's first do it with this one. So here we have added our percentage for the completed task and then the remaining is 100% minus the actual one and this is the blank one just to now select these percentages and all these three categories. Insert. Go, go to charts and take a donut chart. Here we have the donut chart. Now we do not need this title, so remove that one. We do not need these uh, uh, legends also, but for the completed one, I want uh, a, a different color and for the remaining one a different color and this blank one should be white. So let's click this chart. When you first time click it, so all these areas are selected. When you click it again, so only that part is selected and that is the completed one. So here I want this color, good format, shape and here I need this blue color. Now for this one, just click this one and give it a no fill. It should be no fill. And this one is the remaining one. So for the remaining one, whichever color you want, I would just like to keep it like this. This one is completed, this one is not complete. Now we do not need these legends. Remove them. Double click your chart. When you double click, you will have this format data series. If it doesn't appear, so just press control one. So double click, you will see this format data series. Here in this format data series, this angle of the first slice. So I want it to be 240. Why 240? You will see now 240. You see now why I want it 240? Just to bring this white area to the bottom and keep this whole portion like that. So that's why I select it. The angle to 40. Now for the whole size, this size is fine. If you want it to be a little bit narrow, so you can make it narrow or you can increase or decrease this from here. Okay, now 240 degree. That is for this chart. And click this chart, go to format and shape outline, no outline. So that there are no 
white spaces between these different slices you see here we have some white spaces here so select it go to format shape outline no now we need a needle one so here for the meter and for the needle what we will do we will use this completed one the same now we will use for the needle two percent and one percent and then the remaining one should be is equal to 150 percent because we have used 150 percent minus this plus this is equal to. So this is the remaining part for the next chart that i am going to add here now select right click here inside the chart right click go to select data i am adding another series now so add series name is meter and series values are these these are my series value i will not need these values so i will then hide this information okay okay now we have another one you see this this red one this is that needle so now we have that chart now what we need to do right click go to change chart type I want now it to be a combo chart a combo chart so the series one the first one that was a donut so I will change it again to the donut and this one the meter one I want to be the pie chart and the secondary data I will later change that axis I will show you okay so here we have now the next chart also available and that red one is the needle now select this pie chart this is the pie chart this one and now we are going to change the colors of the pie chart so the first one click again so this this slice is selected go to shape fill and make it no fill so that is no fill now select this gray area from here sorry from here and shape fill no fill so that is removed now only the needle is there select that needle and here in the format we will give it a color that you want so i am going to color it green now select the original chart since we have done some changes so the angle of the first slide slice is again zero so make it 240 and this one select this pie chart also and make that angle size also you see that needle is now with the completion slice if you want that the size of this needle is a little bit too small so you can change this two percent to three percent so you see it's a little bit four percent so and now click this pie chart and make it secondary click when you make it secondary so it will be visible now and here also we need to go to format and remove the outlines no outline. so here you can see that needle also now you can change it to two percent so it's enough so that is the needle now for example if i change it to 45 percent so you see the completion slice is going on and the needle also now let's go to insert and give it some more shapes from here i will select this circle bring it here adjust it no outline shape fill make it green like the one or whichever color you want let's make it same color as the completed one so that it's visible in this this needle also change it to that color or a little bit so here you can add some double click and uh, go to shape format and you can add some presets and see here you have a lot of option so you can make it like that also it should be a little bit attractive so this is your needle now you if you change it to 55 percent so the needle is going so this way you can make the speedometer now here i need click the chart go to insert shapes shapes 
rounded rectangle bring it here you want that it should have the completed percentage so click this rectangle go to formula bar is equal to this one and enter so here you will see that number and it is linked whenever there is a change so it will change go to home get center 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 give it a color increase the size bold and this shape outline i want to remove them so that is also removed now you can add here some shadows and all these shapes you have available so you can make it more attractive etc with different colors mm. now if you want that it's thicker so if you want to make it thinner so click this area where you see that the first one is selected you see this the, the whole size so you can increase this and from here you can make it a little bit thinner so it's fine now so you can see that we have developed the same type of speedometer now if you want that a project status title should be here so click your chart why i'm saying click your chart because when you click your chart and add a shape so that would be part of this and when you drag it so that will go alongside this chart for example this one we added so you see when i move the chart so that rectangle is also moving with it now here i select select the chart go to shape here bring it like this give it a proper color and now here we need a text so right click edit text project status you want it to shape outline no shape fill whichever color you want the font color that you would like so make it like that and bold it keep it here so now when you drag it when you move it when you move the chart so these text boxes will also move with it and when you, there is a change in the data 66 percent so that's moving down and here you can see this so in this way you can make the speedometer chart now when we were adding this shape so we didn't select it the chart so it's not in group so let's uh, cut it from here select our chart and paste it so now you will see see now now it's part of it at that time when i was making this shape so i didn't click the chart so that's why it was not part now it's part of it visit my channel you will see a lot of other tutorial on microsoft excel access powerpoint ms word if you visit my channel if you want to learn microsoft excel powerpoint access ms word and mail merge then other tricks of the microsoft excel and other softwares these other playlist of learning online data collection kobo ms form google form for collecting online data data analytic project management series is there is a playlist for ms excel beginners also windows and all these playlists single playlists are also available so you can uh, benefit from all these sessions which are free of cost and you just open it and watch them and learn and improve your productivity there are these uh, beautifully designed uh, powerpoint presentations how to make these powerpoint presentation and every video has a detailed step by step tutorial so visit my channel subscribe like and share and comment learn and improve your product thank you